Junior, welcome to Darlington Football Club. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your, your early career. Uh, I started off at Middlesbrough at the age of 11, I think, up until a bit at Middlesbrough from 11 to 20, I think I was. And then um, got released from Middlesbrough at 20 year, 20 year old. And then played, I think, eight eight months, I think, was at Whippy Town to get a bit of like men's football in, in me. Benefited from it, done, done quite well there. Managed to get a few goals and and attract the interest of um, Forest Green, which I signed for when I was 21, maybe 21, I think I was. Went to Forest Green for two years. Um, parted ways there when I was after the two-year contract, and then signed for Fylde last season. Didn't really work out there, mm. but is what it is, and now now we're here now. You went at the Borough. And in the under fifteens, you you were in a quite successful squad there, weren't you? You won uh, a couple of leagues and a couple of cups. Yeah, we had a very talented group. People like obviously Joe Wheatley, who plays at plays at the club. Uh, Dale Fry, who's playing regular for the first team at Borough now. Yeah, we won we won the league title, and uh, we also played in the Champions League that one of the seasons there. So yeah, very talented group. Yeah, I remember seeing a picture of you in action against Torino in that particular. Tournament. Yeah, yeah, we played Torino, home and away, so that was an, a good experience to obviously travel abroad to play teams from a different country. Um, we also played Par PSG, which they're the team that knocked us out the out the Champions League. We played PSG, I think it was Dynamo Kiev and Torino, from what I can remember of that tournament, yeah, so it was a good experience. Yeah. So it was a little bit of a shock then when you were released by the Borough? It was a little bit, but at the same time, we, we got getting to that age where you want to be like pushing on to be playing first team football and that. And obviously at the time, Middlesbrough were a Premier League club, and it's hard to really break through when the club can just go out and get loan players, etc., from championship, championship teams or whatever. So yeah, I thought that, that it was like a mutual decision really to like go from Middlesbrough to further my career. Yeah. Was it a case then of of rediscovering your confidence when you went to Whitby? Well, yeah, yeah, it was a partly that obviously a dent in my confidence getting released. It's not nice for any young lad to get that, get told that, but it was also to get um, a bit of experience in the men's get, like playing men's football because playing at Millsbury I didn't go out on loan. I was just playing twenty threes under eighteen football, and then obviously playing at Whitby I realised pretty soon it's a lot different. Yeah, there were a few clubs after you though at Whitby weren't there? In the end, you settled for Forest Green. Yeah, I was, I'd, like, my agent dealt with most of that at the time, but. Yeah, I got told there was a bit of interest from different clubs, but Forest Green seemed to be the best fit at the time. Yeah. You did well at Forest Green, though, didn't you? You played over 40 games. Huh? You played for them in a League Two playoff semi final yeah. against Tranmere. Unfortunately, you, you weren't on the winning side, yeah. but it's still a great experience. Yeah, I enjoyed my enjoyed my first season at Forest Green. Second season was a bit hit and miss, really, but yeah, I've just, it, it, and obviously, in the playing the the playoff that was a big experience being on TV having big crowds and stuff like that yeah really benefited me and you scored a few goals I remember seeing one or two of them on TV that uh, weren't exactly close range you're edge of the box kind yeah. of thing I scored a few well, probably the one that stands out the most probably against Tranmere mm. that we played uh, that season that's probably the most memorable one that I scored yeah. unfortunately though you were released by Fylde and you went to, sorry you were released by Forest Green yeah. and you went to Fylde where it didn't quite work out no I went to Fylde and I don't know. It was just one of them things. I, I don't. There's no blame added to anything, but it was just one of them things where it didn't work out for me or like the club. So, we're in when I was chatting to Alan about your signing, uh, you said you can play in three different positions up front. Yeah, I, I'm a bit versatile. I, I like to think so. I can play wide right, wide left, and a te the ten row to an extent. But yeah, I'm quite versatile. I like to think. So now that you come to down, what, what's your ambition? To get my head down, get my confidence back from obviously having a struggle in the last season, and then hopefully push on and get back into the the EFL. And you know all about the passion of Dalton fans, don't you? That uh, the fans have raised 1.5 million pound over the years to keep the club going. Yeah, I've been told about it by many people that Dalton is like a, a fan-friendly club, and the fans are, are what they what brings the money in etc et to the club so yeah I'm really looking forward to playing in front of them and let's hope as well you have a great relationship with them yeah that's the main thing obviously get, you get, you're on like the, the fans good side then it can only benefit you